Thank you for joining us for Nakani's Traditional Medicine Program Winter Storytime Series featuring Indigenous authored and published children's books. Tonight I will be sharing with you Raven and the Tide Lady, a story adapted for children by Tlingit author Pauline Duncan from the works of the late Nora and Dick Downhauer with illustrations by Tlingit artist Michaela Goad and published by Sea Alaska Heritage Institute Baby Raven Reads Program. Raven and the Tide Lady. A little old lady controlled the tide. She never let the tide go down. Low. Raven was determined to bring back the low tide so foods could be gathered from the beach. Raven saw the tide lady sitting on the tide and began to think. He went to the beach and walked along the bull kelp. He put his head in the water, trying to get a sea urchin, but he could not reach it. Then, Raven saw Mink. Mink, can you bring me a sea urchin? asked Raven. Mink dived underwater and surfaced with a beautiful shell, round like a ball, but covered in small spikes. Raven ate the delicate meat of the urchin and drank its juice. Then he went to the Tide Lady, who was sleeping by the fire, and said, Hey, look what I have. The Tide Lady was not happy to see Raven with the spiny shell. She asked Raven, When was the tide so low you could get a sea urchin? With a stick, she chased Raven away. Then the Tide Lady went back to sleep as the fire crackled and popped at her back. Raven returned and said, I'm chilled from the juice of the sea urchin. May I sit by the fire? No, Zhuk, get out of here. Please, I am chilled from the juice of the sea urchin. Please let me sit by the fire. The Tide Lady was angry. She did not understand how Raven had harvested the sea urchin. No, Zhuk, you cannot sit by the fire. She raised her stick again. Raven took the stick away. He began poking the Tide Lady with the spiny sea urchin shell until she hollered, Stop now, Raven. Let me go. Raven said, Not until you let the tide go. Let it go back down. The Tide Lady relented. Okay, okay, Raven. I will let the tide down. But Raven held on to the Tide Lady and hollered, Where are you, Gudzanuk? Gudzanuk, go down to check the tide. Gudzanuk returned. Raven, the tide is as low as half a man. Raven called his crew. What do you see at the shore? We see gumboots in the tide pools, they hollered. And now, called Raven, we can gather seaweed on the rocks. And now, called Raven, we can rake the sand for clams and cockles. And now, called Raven, we are picking sea urchins at the edge of the surf, the crew hollered. Raven called to Magpie, go down and check the tide. Magpie hollered, Raven, the entire beach is almost dry. I will drop a line for gray cod. (laughs) 
So Raven let the Tied Lady go. Raven invited everyone to gather food. As Raven strung up one, two, three gray cod, he instructed the Tide Lady. From this day, the tide will come high up to the trees before going back down. The tide will stop in eight places when it is going down. This would help everyone. They could now predict the tide and know when to gather food. Now Raven was tired and hungry. He filled up one cod stomach with seal grease, lay down, and allowed the grease to drip into his mouth to reward his hard work. Mmm. The Tide Lady kept her promise and let the tide rise and fall. Today, when the tide is low, we can go down to the beach and gather clams, gum boots, sea urchins, seaweed, and much more. Thank you for letting me share this story with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please follow Nakani Native Program on Facebook and check out our YouTube channel to view the other stories that the Traditional Medicine Program is sharing throughout our Winter Storytime series. We want to thank Sea Alaska Heritage for allowing us the opportunity to share these stories with you. To purchase the book that was highlighted in tonight's video, please visit Sea Alaska Heritage Institute's Baby Raven Reads program at the link shown at the end of this video.